as probably a lot of you I also saw this backpack in the spring in the marketing spring from the Corda and I told to myself that this is really cool and I wanted it immediately and then I kind of forgot it on the way to the last session of the season I stumbled upon it in uh, one shop in France and I immediately bought it so in today's video I'm gonna tell you and show you what I do like and what I don't really like on that backpack I purchased this backpack by my own money and uh, this is just my first basically impressions after five days of use uh, if you want to buy it after this video I'm gonna link in description below affiliate link which gonna uh, give me a little kickback if you purchase it through that link so first thing first the absolute first thing I realized on this backpack is the zippers you'd have no single chance to close it with one hand it's absolutely no chance the design as it is is beautiful and that's what they want, went for probably but the usability this top there is no chance you're gonna close it also these small ones if you in the wet in a, in a tent and in the dark you're not gonna close it it's just impossible it's the material it's too too soft and the back the, it's always like collapsed so it, you not you don't have a chance to close it next kind of flaw i found is that on the bottom of the backpack is nothing like let's say uh, waterproof layer it there is just in the the big one the big compartment under that one but I already had the opportunity to test it in my tent was water because I'm not I was not allowed to use the sheet the from the BV on the bottom and this this small bags uh, would get soaked which is unfortunate it's because this backpack is just the first ad adoration of it it's the first try of them what they did and I would think that the second generation gonna have kind of higher waterproofing that you can chuck it to mud you can just leave it in the water and you don't or you don't have to think about it when it's the ground is wet you're just gonna put it on and you're not gonna be bothered let's hop into size i can store in this quite a lot of gear um, let's start from the bottom i have here uh, on the left side i have my uh, lead pouch from grc it's like a middle size lead pouch it fits perfectly what surprised me another way another one above it i have my head torch and my uh, osmo action uh, from the on the front i can fit easily onto this i can fit easily uh, milk or uh, oat milk plus coffee which is good which is exactly what i want on the right side i have uh, my two spools of fluorocarbon and uh, on the bottom one i i store my pumps and uh, marker and some spare pva and that's basically what what's written in, inside um in the big compartment uh, on the top of that i'm storing usually my keys from the car that i know always where they are with my wallet on the big one there is another pocket on the top where i'm storing my my scales because my scale is tiny and i love that so on the top i have a trucker pva pouch club i believe a uh, big uh, cooker under it is crusher with a uh, waterproof uh, pants the light bv light from capras this uh, coda hook storage thing and another another pva pouch where i store my pva uh, things or pva stuff um what surprised me straight away when i bought this backpack was that this thing from Koda, which is which surprised me that it didn't fit here it's too long it's just too long i don't know if they were thinking about it but why it couldn't go there why 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 so i'm storing it here uh it's quite nice how you can organize it inside actually when you want when you find your way and then it fit nicely these few things i have 
and as I said before, to close it is it's it's a nightmare basically. It's beautiful how it looks, but it's horrible to to, to work with it. One thing what they thought, a, probably a lot or I don't know, is this. This is a godsend. It's absolutely awesome. I love that thing. The, these handles, when you're putting it to backpack, the backpack to BV, it's absolutely awesome. I would like to test this uh, if there fits uh, my tent without the bag. So if it does, you're gonna see it now. And why this cannot be here, this uh, top straps, and why they cannot be also on the bottom? Why there couldn't be this kind of straps from the bottom to strap on the the mat, the mat for the for the fish? I'm using very small mat rats, very packable mat rats, and I don't understand why is this on the top and not on the bottom like this when i have a successful session i catch fish i don't want to store that fucking thing on the top of my backpack i don't want my my backpack to be soaked with stinky carpy water the back of the backpack it's kind of fluffy or like soft and uh, the straps are also kind of soft which I'm not planning to use this backpack for hiking trip or something like that uh, but I think this is I don't know if the, the people ever saw good quality backpack it is soft and hard to get on your shoulder it turns and you don't know when it turns because it's so soft it just squishes like this why it cannot be somehow harder that it doesn't turn that doesn't do this it's not sponge we don't need a sponge we need something when i go longer i need something which which breathe and this just soak my sweat the, yeah it's let's say it's a first generation i don't want to be too too critic for uh, for them because it's beautiful looking backpack but style and marketing is not everything this for me from the Corda compact rucksack 45 thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and like this video comment down below and whatever you want go fishing <laughs>